everyone, and today I am going to be discussing the hazards and risks that commonly occur in the kitchen and a guideline on how to control these hazards and risks. Let us get into the video. Knowing the potential hazards and how to avoid them could save you or one of your colleagues from unnecessary harm. Here are the top 10 injuries you would want to avoid. Knife cuts, burn hazards, injuries from machines, slips, strips, and falls, lifting injuries, head and eye injuries, crowded workspace risks, chemical hazards, fire hazards, and electric shocks. And with those, here is one of the guidelines on controlling them. Slip, strips, and falls. Kitchens often have numerous slip, trip, and fall risks created by human error meaning you and others need to focus closely on proper safety practices and housekeeping. Slip, trip, and fall hazards include floor contamination, such as spillages of water, sauces, oils, and flour, wet floors from cleaning, obstructions in walkways, including trailing cables, boxes and crates, bins, cleaning equipment, and etc., Uneven worn down or loose flooring. Using a ladder to access high pantry shelves. Standing in a truck to unload deliveries. To minimize slip, trip, and fall hazards, you should carry out good housekeeping. Clean spillages and move obstructions out of hallways right away. Take extra care while cleaning. Avoid leaving puddles behind and make sure the cleaning materials you're using are correct for the type of floor in your kitchen. Dry mop where possible to eliminate slip risks altogether. Keep cables out of walkways. Use the nearest plug socket for appliances. Report any issues with the flooring or work activities that are generating hazards when they shouldn't. For example, leaking equipment. Use ladders in accordance with safety instructions. Rest ladders on a firm, level surface and we only use them for up to 30 minutes. Do not lift more than 100 kilograms of a ladder. Avoid accessing heights without a sustainable ladder. Chairs and shelves are unsafe to stand on. Carry out deliveries with a coworker. Working with someone minimizes the amount of times you have to step on and off back to the truck and putting yourself at risk of falling. That is it for today's discussion. I hope you learned something new. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye!